Hello, my lovely Leos and all of you beautiful cross watchers. Welcome to Cosmos and Spread. My name is Michelle Rogers, also known as the Paranormal Experiencer. If you're interested in true paranormal experiences and also the uh, life of a child medium, uh, true stories. If you would like, please uh, go to my alternate channel, The Paranormal Experiencer. I do have the link in the description box below for you. Definitely appreciate you checking that out. Okay, so before I begin, let me tell you what came through in vision and in voice. So, a male spirit guide came to me when I specifically asked, what does Leo have in store during this 8-8 activation period? And what I heard was, because it gets easier. And then I was taken into a vision. And it, it was as if I was in this large living room. Now we have to think, this living room was <clears throat> very comfortable, okay? It was not like a big fancy living room. It was just, it was comfortable. And it, it's somewhere where um, family and friends would love to gather and not not have to worry, you know, like you would have your pets up there and on the furniture and you wouldn't have to worry about someone spilling something or, you know, it's just true comfort, okay? So, <clears throat> within this living room, I remember looking up uh, towards the ceiling and I saw a white uh, portal opening about that large, okay? So, it was actually pretty small, but it was about that size. And, um, it was as if I could see into another realm. I could see the sky of another realm, okay? But what that was telling me was I feel like during this 8-8 activation period, now many of you probably have already, if you already began the, re the uh, awakening process, you've probably been noticing um, the past little while because actually the Lion's Gate has already began to open, okay? It's just the 8-8 is the... The big day when um, a lot of activations and downloads and, and openings of the celestial realms, okay, can contact us much easier. And so I feel like many of you have already began uh, seeing changes and differences um, spiritually. But when 8-8 is here, um, I do believe that you are going to, from what I saw and how I feel intuitively, that you are going to go through a major uh, increased awakening process. So what that means is for those of you who are new to the awakening, okay, um, you're going to be uh, dramatically seeing uh, awakening symptoms. Um, seeing things and hearing things, smelling things, tasting things you've never experienced before. Okay? Um, do not let this scare you, my dear Leos. Now, for those of you who have already began the awakening process, um, then you will have increased downloads. Okay? You will have increased um, abilities, but you will be able to see a true change, a true difference, okay, in your spirituality, your spirituality, um, you'll be able to, um, let's say, for instance, um, you're already a psychic medium, um, when the 8-8 eight, eight downloads come through to you, you may have either those gifts that you already have may be extremely strong, okay, compared to how they were, or you may acquire even new gifts on top of this, okay? So, do um, do plan for this and know that those of you who have already um, began the awakening process, um, this is going to be a year of really stepping up for all of us, every sign um, to help those who are coming into the awakening, okay, who are new and fresh because, um, you know, this can be scary for a lot of people, not understanding, you know, why are they seeing things or why are they having certain experiences that, you know, that before they have never even knew existed. So, <clears throat> this is really going to be a year that all of us light workers, no matter what zodiac sign we are, all of us star seeds, 
it's going to be a time that we're going to have to pull together, okay? I feel like a lot of us are going to be finding our soul tribes even more than ever. I've already noticed um, there's been a lot of my friends and I have, you know, talked about the soul tribe and everything this past year, but um, I, I feel like once this 8-8 activation occurs, there's going to be an extreme mass of awakening and people finding, being pulled and, and uh, led to their soul tribes more than ever before. Okay, so we need to be prepared for that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and begin this reading and see what is entailed for my lovely Leo for the month of August 2021. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guides, and all who are with us in the highest divine realms of love and truth, I ask that you please bring forth clarity, knowledge, wisdom, that I may interpret what you are bringing forth for our lovely Leo for August 2021, please. Thank you, Spirit. I activate this crystal grid with love and truth for Leo, August 2021. I activate this crystal grid for Leo, August 2021. I activate this crystal grid for Leo, August 2021. Thank you, Spirit. Please know that when I say Spirit, I'm speaking of the Holy Spirit. I only connect to those energies of the highest level of Christ consciousness and those of the highest love and truth. Okay, so now I'm going to begin with your current energies that you will be facing during the month of August. Please know this is a general reading. If you're interested in a more in-depth personal reading such as love, finances, um, and so forth, I do offer readings um, to be purchased. All you have to do is look for my contact information in the description below. I do have a link there, and I will gladly uh, explain to you my process of my readings and so forth. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guides, and all who are with us in the highest divine realms of love and truth. Oh, thank you, Spirit. This one? Yes, okay. More from this deck? No, thank you. And our first card, very nice. Illuminate the shadow. Focus on a solution. Okay, so this is the number 21. Guys, I tell everyone, please look up your angel number. So any number that I give you here, please do so. I will be giving you the condensed version always, okay, um, with the numerology. But, the, but by looking up the numbers, in addition to seeing your moon, sun, and rising signs together as a whole, will bring you more information uh, for your monthly reading, okay? Now, before I go into this any farther, I'm going to go ahead and pull some more energy cards. Let's see what Spirit has to say here. I really want to thank all of my beautiful subscribers and all of those who are visiting my channel. Thank you very much for popping in, and I hope that this does help inspire many. If you do feel that this reading resonates, I would greatly appreciate if you would please uh, like and subscribe. Share this out. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guides, all who are with us in the highest divine realms of love and truth, what energies will our lovely Leo be facing? Oh, thank you. All of these? This? This. Okay, not this one. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. So we have here the number nine, man holding a heart. And we have the number eight, indecision. Okay? Again, I will go 
farther in depth with these in just a moment. <clears throat> feel like for you, my lovely Leo, I need to pull a few extra cards from this Starseed Oracle deck instead of the tarot. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Guides, all who are with us in the highest divine realms of love and truth. What energies and what information would you like to bring forth for our lovely Leo for the month of August 2021, please? These spirit? Yes. More from the stack? No, thank you. <coughs> okay. And we have here... The void. Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmic womb. Nice. Okay. The courageous peony. Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Very nice. Okay. So let's begin <clears throat> in order. So we have the number 21. Illuminate the shadow. Focus on a solution. Now, first of all, um, the number three for me, that is, that is two people or two things coming together to form a third or a whole okay so let's look at it this way there you know you have two people that come together to create a child you have um two business partners that come together to create a business okay so <clears throat> there's some kind of a union that involves two of something coming together to create the third or the whole okay this can be a person and a job, okay, so like an employer, so a person and an, empl and an employer, so the employer hires the person, that's two people, and then that person comes into that job, that makes the third, the whole, okay. <clears throat> this is also like the energy, when I see this, this is telling me there's some kind of um, hold up, okay. There's some kind of, it's like going to that empress, going to be the empress of the earth. But before you get there, you have to walk through the fire. You have to go through the flames. Okay? That's what this energy is telling me. Yeah, and see, and also the number three, this is your solar plexus chakra. Could be off balance for some of you. Now, the solar plexus chakra, um, that has to do with, the, you know, our actions, our choices, and our will. You know, um, do we stay stagnant and stuck, or do we have the will to move forward and press forward and go ahead and walk across those flames, complete that, and then be in that empress energy. This is also using your skills and abilities to manifest what your heart's desires are, okay? And this is also being happy during time of adversity, some type of shakeup, some tower moment, okay? So Spirit's saying here, focus on the solution. Okay, so the next one. We have man holding a heart, number 45. Now, this number 45 is the number 9. 5 plus 4 is 9. So, you know, this goes pretty much hand in hand. Um, we're talking about here that shake up, okay? Now, the number 9, that's like the death and rebirth of something. So, that could be the, the end of a cycle um, that you've been going through, and then you're coming into, you know, like a new chapter in your life new opportunities and the best way that i can describe this number nine is um you know if, if you're in the ninth chapter of a book and you're at the very last few sentences before you have completed chapter nine so the last few sentences as you read them they're telling you that 
now it's time to go back to the beginning of chapter 9 and reread it all again, but this time look at it as an observer, okay? Not get drug into the story, but as an observer. So what did you learn during chapter 9 in your life? Um, what could you have done differently? What could someone else have done differently? Um, you know, is there, are there things that need to begin to heal? Um, is there forgiveness involved by either party? Okay, do you need to forgive yourself about something? Um, and some of you may actually, you know, use this as a time to reflect all the way back to chapter one. Okay, but <clears throat> Once you have walked through those flames, through that fire, then here comes the Empress energy, okay? And you start that chapter 10. And that's when all of the beauty begins to show and prove from chapter 9, all of the adversity, all the hurt, the tears, the emotions, the anxieties, okay? <clears throat> You'll be able to move forward more comfortably, um, much happier. You'll have much more opportunities, okay, coming in. So now I'm going to go ahead and read this man holding a heart. Give me just a moment, please. Let's see. Hold on just a moment. Here we go, 143. I do not know why, but this one book that I have, all of these are out of order. They're not like we're used to seeing here in the USA. Okay, so man holding a heart. It says male, so that would be a male energy. Doesn't have to be a male in body, okay? A male energy, dealing with family, love, or emotions. Okay, so. This tender man sits with flowers all around, holding a heart in his hand. For a man, this signals a greater clarity about emotions and their purpose in your life. There could be more balanced there could be a more balanced approach to family and love at this time, even if these have been confusing experiences for you in the past. For some, this card could signal the presence of a new man in your life, one who tends to be more thoughtful and aware. Whether or not this man is a love interest or a friend, he brings a high intention to help where personal projects, family, or home issues are concerned. Okay, and an affirmation that this book recommends is, I am comfortable with all of my emotions. I honor and express them in appropriate ways. I feel peace. And, of course, as I always say, if you have your own affirmations that you prefer, please use your intuition and do so. Okay? Now, next we have indecision. Now, here we have the number eight. Now, the number eight has several different meanings. For one, this is telling me there is abundance coming your way. However, okay, with this card, I'm also seeing there's like two paths. Okay? So it's like kind of like a, as the card says, indecision. Which path are you going to take? Now here's something to note, my lovely Leo. <clears throat> when we are on a path, we're on a journey, um, there are certain things that no matter when we get there, we will get there, okay? So what I'm trying to say is, let's say that during this lifetime, I am supposed to be uh, in another state living by 8-8 eight, eight of this month. Okay, and, and I know this. Okay, before I come here in body. So, <clears throat> let's say while I'm here, my spirit guides, everyone's trying to push me to be there at the right time. So, if I try to leave early, it's not going to work. Things just aren't going to work out because then there will be roadblocks after roadblocks in my path. But let's say I come up against two paths here, okay, with this move. 
And let's say, I say, okay, I think things out. I'm not using my intuition. Um, I'm trying to be logical with everything. And I think, you know what? I feel like this one will be the best bet. This logically seems like the best one. This one would be fulfilling my heart's desires more. But logically, I'm going to choose this path. So, well, here's what happens. Because I've used only logic and not listening to, <clears throat> not listening to God, not listening to my inner self, okay, um, what's happening is I have went on a detour path, okay, through lots of curves, lots of road bumps, okay, and caused this situation to for myself to go through a lot more and take me longer to get where I was supposed to be okay however had I have listened to my intuition and chosen this path I would have went straight from A to B and I would have been straight where I was supposed to be no road bumps okay no overwhelming silliness um, so I feel like that is the situation but the final outcome regardless you're still going to get there okay it's just one of these things of what do you choose okay Leo so <clears throat> but either way once you arrive at your destiny okay you will be seeing abundance okay that's that's a definite symbol of abundance is on its way okay and if you turn the number eight sideways that's also the infinity symbol so that's just telling you know that's just saying how much you are loved during this process and to have faith and trust that you will get to your destination okay um it's just all about trusting Trusting how you feel. Trusting your gifts. Okay? Okay, the next one, the void. Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmic womb. Okay, <clears throat> so I feel like what this is saying is, okay, you, you are in this energy, okay? There's some stagnancy there. You have this shakeup, right? Okay, so during this time... Spirit saying, okay, just stop. Just stop. While you are within this adversity, okay, look around you. What can you learn from it? But also, okay, it says embrace winter. Embrace what's happening. Look at it as a learning experience, okay? Looking at, look at it as teaching. Maybe, maybe you were in a relationship. It doesn't have to be intimate. But maybe you were in a relationship and let's say the two of you knew you were soulmates and you were constantly going at it with each other, okay? And constantly seeing your mirror self in the other person, okay? And you both tried really hard and things didn't work out, okay? So let's say there's a separation. So you go back and you look and you say, okay, hmm, embrace the winter. All right, so then you begin to see as an observer, okay, you begin to see, oh, that person taught me this lesson. I taught them this. They taught me this. I taught them this. And just the list goes on and on, okay? And then you begin to realize the bigger plan, the bigger picture, okay? And so I feel like that's what Spirit's trying to say is, you know, embrace it. Okay, learn what you can from it because when you move forward, you will be able to take that with you. Okay, because then you have the promise of the great cosmic womb. So what this is saying is, you know, once you you embrace that winter, embrace that that coldness, that that storm or that situation that may bring you to your knees. When that is completed, it's like. Um, the great cosmic womb. Now think about this. A, a woman's womb, what does it do? It grows a child. Okay? So that's telling me 
that when you go through this, as long as you can embrace it, learn from it, okay? Do what makes you happy during that storm, during whatever that is for you. It's going to be a different situation for all of you. But as long as you do that, um, you're going to be able to plant beautiful new seeds within this cosmic womb, okay, and be able to manifest those in your life coming up on chapter 10, okay? So now the next thing is the courageous peony, multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. Now I'm going to read this one. I feel like Spirit really wants me to read this one from the book for you. So I'm going to listen to Spirit. Just a moment. This is the one that, let's see, is not in complete order. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Flowers don't open and close according to who walks by. They embrace all of what they are and show it to the world around them. The peony doesn't try to compete with the, with the cherry blossom, and the cherry blossom doesn't try to compete with the tulip. They own what they are and trust the timing of their true nature. Okay, so again, that's going right back to this. You know, you have to trust. You're going to get there. Regardless of which decision you make, you're going to get there in divine timing okay um you're being called to do the same it's time to open yourself up to being seen time to share your incredible multifaceted true true nature with the world around you to uncover and reveal your soul's greatest gifts without wavering to own your uniqueness without apology there's a flower on this planet that holds the same qualities that your soul is ready in itself to express. Let it inform you. You may have been taught that it's safer to keep your light hidden and your voice small. To hide behind the bushes instead of growing tall. The courageous peony is here to remind you that it's safe to embody all of who you truly are. It's safe to share your voice and let yourself be seen. At first, it may feel uncomfortable. And you may be afraid of what others think. But with each passing day, it does become easier. Little by little, you realize that it draws in those who are meant for you. And experiences you've been longing for arrive at your feet. Okay, and a question that this book recommends that you ask yourself is, How are you being called to allow yourself to be more visible and seen in the world? Very, very beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights down and begin to crystal scry. I'll be right back. Okay, Leo, give me just a moment, please, to line up. Holy Spirit, holy angels, holy guides, all who are with us in the highest divine realms of love and truth, please show me, tell me, or both. What does Leo need to know for August 2021, please? Okay. <clears throat> now, Leo, if you're not used to my readings, I do get lots of symbology. So what I see now, I see a princess, and it's if she is at a castle and she's she's got her elbow propped on a ledge okay she's looking out and it looks like she's contemplating something she's in deep thought okay so let's go on spirit please clarify about this contemplation please <clears throat> Yeah, and I feel like it's very serious because to to her, to this female energy, because 
um, just the expression on her face. It's not, she's not smiling. She just, she doesn't really look sad. It's just like she's in deep thought, okay? It's very important to her. Now, again, my readings are not gender specific. Okay, I keep seeing like a cobra, the snake, okay? Now, do not let this alarm you. I do not feel like this is a warning. I feel like this is a transformation, a major transformation. One of the meanings of a snake is, uh, you know, snakes shed their skin, all right, and they become into new. They have newness. It's like a rebirth, okay? They, they're they letting go of the baggage, the, the old dry, rough skin that... You know, it's kind of like exfoliating your life, okay? Um, getting rid of the negativity and getting rid of the, just the, the whole way of thinking or the whole way of, um, you know, your whole perspective on things changing, okay? Your spirituality changing. <clears throat> Very beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Please continue. Please show me, tell me, or both. What does Leo need to know for August 2021, please? Hmm. Please clarify. Okay, bigger, please. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Okay, so what I just saw, Leo, I saw a spirit, a female in spirit, okay? And so it was telling me this is like a celestial energy, okay? And a very positive, beautiful energy. And she has really, really big eyes, which is telling me she's going to be, this energy is going to be helping to um, spread clarity in your life. So you have celestial beings, of course, who are with you every day, okay? Well, I feel like this is going to be a big part of this 8-8 activation, um, letting you know to realize that those celestial beings who are around you um, are with you to keep you safe. They are with you to help you through um, this time of enlightenment to help you see more clearly, okay? Um, now, on top of this uh, female spirit celestial energy, I saw a dog. Now, this was like a, a very tough, wild dog. Not a wolf, nothing like that, but it was just, um, this dog, it, it wasn't anything negative or scary, Okay, what I felt from this dog was loyalty, trust, pure friendship. Okay, it was like the dog was in spirit, like a spirit animal. So, lovely Leos, I know that your symbol is the lion, but um, spirit's also showing me in addition to that, you need to, um, it, I really do recommend that you look up the spirit animal meaning of a dog, okay? Because that energy is going to be with you, I feel like, throughout the next year, helping you with this activation so that not only can you awaken and understand your abilities more, but so that you can help uh, humanity as they are awakening those who are new in the process, okay? Very beautiful spirit. Thank you. Please continue. What does Leo need to know, please? Okay, what is that? What is that spirit? Yes, now do not let this scare you again. I see a lot of symbols, okay? So, <clears throat> what I'm feeling right now, um, I, I just saw a skull, okay? Now, one of the symbolizations of a skull means protection. 
Okay, so that's just Spirit saying, okay, within that skull, skull, there has been death and rebirth. Okay, that already came through in the cards. Now, that's the number nine. But also, the skull itself is a form of protection for the brain. Okay, so Spirit's letting you know you're going to be divinely protected throughout this process. But also, to make sure that as you're waking up, you're getting new abilities or um, abilities increasing, always make sure to protect yourself, okay, to cover yourself in whatever manner you feel intuitively best to do um, from all negativity in all forms, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Anything else for our lovely Leos today? What is that spirit? <laughs> okay. So, spirit just showed me the emoji of a smiley face. Like, like laughing and really, it's just like really cute. It looks like a cartoon. Just like an emoji. Okay. And what spirit's telling me, look, you are going to have a very beautiful, beautiful next year. Okay. Uh, especially this coming month. Now, again, you have to go back through. You know, if you, that is, if you take the path of, you have two paths to choose. You can look at what I just said and you could say, you know what, I'm not going to listen to this. I'm going to go my own way and be logical about things. Or you can say, wait a minute, maybe there is something to this 8 8 activation. Maybe I should research that and go with my heart and pray about it see how I feel and you know so just remember whichever path you choose you're going to get there my friend okay um, just one way may be a little more bumpier and take a little longer than the other okay but in the end once you reach your goal once you reach that point or that destination you are going to be so happy that you have made it okay all right i'm going to stop with the crystals now i'm going to turn the lights back up and i'll pull some more cards okay i'm back leo let's see spirit which deck would you like for last bit of guidance for leo mm, thank you Yeah, Leo, I know these have been all oracle cards. Um, I do what spirit guides me to do as far as pulling cards. I don't set aside a certain deck unless spirit tells me to. So, therefore, I, can, I never can plan how a reading is going to go, which guidance cards, which tarot cards, anything else. I just strictly go with what I intuitively feel and I'm shown and told to do. Holy Spirit, what last bit of advice would you like to bring forth for our beautiful Leos for the month of August 2021, please? Ooh, thank you. More from this deck? No. This card? Yes. Thank you. Okay. We have uh, surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. Very good. You know, and I, I feel like I feel like uh, <clears throat> Leo. It's because because you've been hurt. Okay, I feel like you've been hurt a lot. And because of that, you know, I mean, I know myself, I have been, I am a light worker and a star seed. My life 
if you haven't seen the paranormal experiencer and watched my videos um, my life has been rough okay but now because I went through all that fire okay now I'm living my heart's desire and it's beautiful and I would not change anything whatsoever okay so but I do know that during those times of adversity in my past okay um, there were times that I would put up this this solid wall on my heart okay um, and it was really hard for people to get in it was really hard for you know people to even talk to me because I had you know so many weird crazy odd things happened to me and um, then people, you know, I would feel like when people would come towards me to talk about something with me, people that weren't not even around in those situations, I would automatically become defensive. Okay, I had my guard up and I was ready to attack back because I had been hurt so much. Okay, so I get it. I'm not here to judge you, Leo. I'm here to love you and bring forth encouragement, okay, from spirit very beautiful very beautiful okay more cards yes Let's go with these well i have just slung these cards every direction Okay, Spirit, what last bit of guidance would you like to give our lovely Leo before we close this reading? Ooh, hope that picked up on camera. This one? Yes. More from this deck. No. Okay. And we have peace oh love faith look at this we have look at these two beautiful doves leo leo you got this leo you're so strong okay you have got this my friends your lives are going to be absolutely amazing yeah you're going to go through stuff everyone has to go through stuff you know in the near future but what I'm saying is, according to this reading and what Spirit has said, most of you are going to, when you get to your destination, no matter which path you choose, okay? Once you get there, you are going to be so full of love and be so loved, feel so loved by many, okay? So just stay strong. Keep that Leo strength going no matter what okay and I'm going to draw a symbol for you here what symbol would you like to give our beautiful Leo before we close this reading please okay what's this <laughs> I love it this is so you Leo I love it it is a boxing glove <laughs> Leo, I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> That's right, Leo. See, you're courageous. You're an overcomer. Okay? <laughs> you have strength of body, mind, and spirit. <laughs> you're very, very courageous. You have no worries. <laughs> Go get them, my Leos. <laughs> Much love to each of you. Many, many blessings. Bye-bye.